Hi guys, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to the final video of the Esther the Elephant Crochet Along. This will be the final tips video that I will be making for this crochet along. Um, I've got all the pieces put together. I mean, I've got all the pieces made and now I'm just going to show you how I sew the arms and the legs and the tail onto the elephant. Okay, so here are the, uh, I've got the arms and the legs, here's the arms and I slip stitch the top together, okay, and like I was saying in the last video, I stuffed it up to about a thumb's width at the top where I don't put stuffing so that way uh, they can, uh, the arms can flex some and also it will help in the legs um, to help with him sitting down, okay. Okay, so I've got the arms, the legs, and here is the tail. Now, for the tail, the instructions does not say to stuff the tail, but I did because I tried um, using it without it stuffing the tail, and it did not help uh, prop the elephant up. Uh, it took, so then it can sit, be in a sitting position. Okay, and so all I did is I took the, after I put the little uh, fringe on the end of the tail, I cut off quite a bit. And then what I, the, that, the snippings of the gray yarn, I just used my crochet hook, the end of it, and I stuffed it, stuffed some of those snippings down into the tail. Okay, so that's what, that's what I did with that. So that way, because you do have some pretty big size uh, stitch holes there and you would see the white um, stuffing through the holes quite a bit so I just used the same color of yarn as the tail and just stuffed it in there uh, like I said with a crochet hook and uh, so that's what I did with that and then I just slip stitch across the bottom uh, just like I did all the other pieces and now I, leaving a long tail for sewing and so now I'm ready to start sewing my arms and legs together okay so I took the body and uh, now I am using these uh, very long quilters pins I like to use those to help pin the pieces in place and so I just got the legs and I pinned them on where I thought they were gonna go I, I try to just align f starting with the central the where I began <laughs> round one uh, with the adjustable ring or magic circle that I used and then I just pinned even with that oh that first round on either side where I thought the legs looked like they were even and once I've got the the pins stuck in there holding them where I think they should go then I turn my elephant right side up and start trying positioning him Push it, positioning him to see if I can get him to sit up okay so as you can see the part that I did not stuff it helps because of his little tummy there or his rounded tummy there uh, will have a place to sit <laughs> okay and so now the next thing I do before I start sewing things together is I take the tail now I hope that this angle, the way I have the camera, I hope that works well. Uh, I was having a hard time getting it where you could actually see um, what I was wanting to show you. <laughs> so anyway, so hopefully this angle is not really weird. Okay, so now I'm going to get another quilt, uh, the quilter's pins, a couple more out of my container here. Dump it over a little bit, get some out there. Okay, and then I'm going to take my tail and then I'm going to just wedge it underneath. If you can see, I'm just kind of wedging it underneath the uh, his bottom to see what will help to prop up the elephant so then he'll sit by himself. Okay, and depending on how far I need to push it in there that's uh, where he will sit up then that's where I will place the tail okay and in the front I can kind of spread the legs apart just a little bit you know you just can kind of keep adjusting it until you think you get to a point where he will um, sit up by himself pretty well okay See that? 
Okay, so I think that's about where I need to put my tail and now I'm gonna hold it in that place where I think the tail needs to go and then I'm gonna look back here and turn it over and then I'm going to pin that tail into place. I can always shift it if I don't think it's in the right place um, in a minute. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and put a couple of pins in there to hold it in place, okay? Okay, and then I turn him back over and see if I can get him to sit up again. <laughs> you can kind of mold the stuffing too to see if that helps. Okay, so I think that's about as good as I'll be able to get it. So I think that's where I'm going to put the tail. And then you kind of look and to see if it's kind of, if it's uh, even with the, the middle of his back. Okay. Okay, so that, I think that's where I'm going to put my pieces. So all, I, all I'm going to do now is just take some of these long pieces, uh, one of the long tails, and uh, thread it onto my yarn needle. I'm just going to kind of hold that tail down a little better. Let's start with this one. So I'm going to get the tail and go ahead and yarn up my needle here. <laughs> Okay. And then I'm going to start stitching this flat piece down to the body, okay? And I do that same trick where I will come out, you see where I'm coming out right there, further away from the leg, uh, just so you come out a stitch hole. So that way I can go through that hole again to get me back over to where the leg is. To me, it just, it helps to do that. You get to make a little bigger stitches instead of such tiny stitches. And it just seems like it's easier to handle that way. Or easy to do the stitches, at least for me it is. Okay, you just kind of anchor down each, si each side. I mainly just get it where I know that I can, it's um, secure enough where I can take the pins out and then I'll go back and put in extra stitches. These first stitches are just mainly to um, hold it down so I can take the pins out so they won't be in my way, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take these pins out. Okay, and then I start um, sewing it down. Through the uh, leg piece and the body coming up just, I'm gonna, whoop, <laughs> I'm gonna come out way over here out through a stitch hole. Okay, and then uh, turn the elephant around And then see that's too that's too far away from the leg. I don't want that stitch to show, so I'll go through that same hole again, but come up um, closer to the leg. Oops, sorry, that was like really close to the camera. <laughs> okay, so I just keep doing that, just anchoring it down. back through that same stitch hole so you won't see uh, see that stitch get over to where the leg is again and then another thing you can do is you can lift that leg up because when you when you are, when you're going to um, hold hold it up see I like where the the leg will flap down flop down see so you want to look under here and make sure that it is all this here is anchored down to the body as well. See, I come up underneath there. Oh, okay, 
like that and then I'm going to go through the leg to the other side oops sorry <laughs> it's very awkward the cameras like this I hope you can tell what I'm doing <laughs> So you just keep doing that and looking underneath to see if there needs to be some more stitches. Okay, and you keep doing that, anchoring it down. And you can always um, just leave this strand if you want to go on to the next leg to get those pins out. And um, you can always come back to this leg and um, continue sewing. Sometimes I'll do it that way. I'll just get them tacked down really good with stitches, a few stitches, and then I'll keep going back to it, you know, one and then the other to um, get my... Um, get it secured down okay yeah there's quite a few more stitches I need to put into this one Okay, so I'm going to keep securing this one down and uh, go ahead and um, I think what I'm going to do is, is okay so I'm going to go ahead and keep working on this I went ahead and took my yarn off my thread uh, my yarn tail for that one I think I'm going to go ahead and go over to this next leg and get that one secured down so I can take um, the pins out okay and then I'll just kind of keep going back and forth from one to the other and like I said look underneath the leg to see if it looks like it's secure or it needs some more stitches to uh, secure it down uh, remember that that this is going to be going to a child so um, when the child plays with it you know a lot of times they'll like pick it up by the arms and legs and stuff like that and so you want to make sure that these are really secured down well but like I said I still like to be able for it to be able to legs be able to hang down when it's picked up okay so that's that is why you pinch the top and secure it down and don't put stuffing up real high because that way they can move okay so let me go ahead and secure these these legs down and then I'm going to be uh, securing down the tail just just the same way that I'm doing the legs and then we will um, I will come back when I get ready to put the arms on and I'll show you where I place the arms okay okay I'll see you in a bit okay so I got the arms and the um, no I've got the legs <laughs> and the tail sewed on okay and now I'm beginning to go ahead and pin the arms onto the elephant okay so I decided how far down I didn't want oops sorry all that you saw was a trunk there <laughs> I decided to go down a couple of rows down from where the neck seam was to start the um, to start with the arms okay and so I went ahead and pinned this one in there I just kind of lined it up kind of centered it front to back and um, where I thought it would look good on the elephant and also I've noticed that you can kind of use guidelines like where the tip of the ear is it kind of lines up with the, where the um, arm starts okay that one edge 
okay and then now I'm going to take my other arm and I'm going to pin that on and I just um, take note of which row the pins are sticking into and then I just kind of follow that around on over to the other side and that's where I want to start my arm so that way it'll be um, starting in the same row okay get some pins ready uh, right here okay It's kind of tricky trying to hold that and make sure that I'm in the view uh, viewfinder. <laughs> I mean, you know, in the lens so you can see me. Uh, right. Yeah, right there. Okay, so I've got it about what row I need to start on. So now I turn it over to this side and then I try to line up that edge of the ear to that edge of the uh, arm. And it looks like I need to move it forward just a tad. try to keep it on that same row. Now it seems like that that edge of the ear is lined up with the edge of the arm so that should be uh, the same front to back on both sides and then I'll look at it from the front and see if that's where I'm wanting the arm to be. Put some more pins in there. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Just putting pins in. Okay. And then, like I said, I look at it from the front and see if I think that it is even. Okay. I'm losing my backdrop here. <laughs> it's one thing about this velvety material, the uh, fabric, it... Um, kind of travels. <laughs> okay. So I think I got it pinned even and centered uh, between the front and the back on the sides. So it looks like I'm ready to go ahead and sew them in. So I'll just take my yarn needle and uh, take one of the tails from that I left on the arms and then I'm just going to sew them in just like I sewed in the uh, legs. Okay. And so I'll go ahead and do that off camera. Um, and then I will come back when I've got the two arms in place and then we will finish up this crochet along. Okay be back in a bit okay so there you go I finished the arms so in the arms in I got all my tails and things the my yarn tails weaved in so Esther the elephant is now complete and I think he turned he or she the elephant <laughs> turned out really cute I like the way I used the uh, blanket uh, the same yarn that I used for the blanket that's going to be going with the elephant I used that on the foot pads and I think that added a nice little touch of color um, I'm enjoying seeing all those that have already finished the elephant and have been posting pictures of them on my Facebook group thank you so much for sharing pictures of your elephant uh, like I said all of them are turning out really cute and um, if you did not have time to work on this crochet along while I was working on it, um, that's no problem. These videos will always, these tips videos will always be available on my channel. So whenever you have need of an elephant, um, then feel free to watch my tips videos if, if you feel, if you think that um, they would help. I hope they will. Okay, thanks so much. If everybody for taking part in this crochet along along with me and we will see you in the next one bye guys